Hey guys, what is up? It's another Saturday, which means it's another Wild Goat Games stream. Um, I'm Harry. If you've, um, if this is your first time tuning in, then uh, basically this is my indie games development initiative, um, and I pretty much just come and hang out every Saturday uh, and work on my indie game projects. So. Um, yeah, uh, my thing is Wild Goat Games, here's a bit of the website. Uh, I've made two games in the past, one of them was like the standard Pong clone style thing that everyone makes, my one's called Puck You, um, and it's got power-ups and stuff and things like that, and you can play it for free, um, you get it at wildgoatgames.co.uk, um, and if you head over to the Tesla game, that's something that I released for Android and iOS uh, around the end of the year and um, that's also free and it's like a puzzle game with some logic and stuff like that um, and yeah uh, check it out and let me know what you think and then the last thing is that if you like any of the stuff you see um, you can sign up to be a beta tester and when odd one in for example the current project when that's uh, in a more playable form and ready to kind of test out across devices you can help me find what's wrong with it help me uh, make it more enjoyable um, and just try it out after watching me working on it. So, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of the gist. Um, like I said, the current game project is called Odd One In. In a nutshell, it's a um, like a, a memory game where it generates three random symbols. Um, it then takes them away, shows you them again with one additional randomly generated symbol added. Uh, you have to tap the one that's the odd one in. So spot the odd one in, tap it. It comes back in, um, and if you're right, then uh, it does the same thing, and it shows you five symbols with another new one added. It then it shows you six symbols with another new one added, seven symbols, eight symbols, nine symbols, all the way up to let's say, for example, twelve. So imagine a grid of twelve symbols, where every time you get it right and spot the one that wasn't there before, um, it randomly picks one and swaps it with a new symbol again. So then you're continuously um, looking for the one that's been swapped out and swapped in. Um, and at that point, having played a prototype of it that I made a while back, um, it can get pretty fun. So the idea is to rack up a high score, um, and there's going to be a leaderboard style mechanic coming later on. And yeah, um, so all that aside, uh, I'm going to open up Unity, which luckily I've already got open because I've learned from past streams uh, that's what you're supposed to do. So... Um, Quick, uh, quick sip of coffee. On the last stream, where did we get to? Um, so basically, we I've got my trusty notepad here. I've learned to do this now. I make notes after a stream of what I did today and what I need to do next time so that I don't forget. So apparently, according to me a week ago, last stream, we added gameplay, um, which involved touch recognition, score tracking, and having like a win-loss um, interaction when you do touch a shape so it either sends you to a game over screen or it sends you to a um, uh, the next level but at the moment we don't have the next levels built because uh, I want to get the rest of the core gameplay loop fixed before I start adding you know extra layers of complexity as is always the way um, I also added a game over screen uh, I added a, a success screen if someone gets the right shape and I added like animations to kind of bring it in and bring it out and there's a whole animation loop that controls that. Um, and so on today's stream, what I've written here is that I need to fix the play again on game over. Oh yeah, so on my game over screen there's a play again button um, and at the moment when you tap it, it does this thing where the game over screen kind of like slides out and then there's just a blank white screen and then the the screen to start the gameplay again slides up. So what I think I'm probably going to do is have it skip out the blank screen of the sliding out, and just have this um, this intro card slide in over the game over screen, and then have both of them slide out together. Um, so that's going to be something to figure out. So some animation stuff to fix, which is it's early on, but it's like look and feel stuff that's really going to bother me if I don't sort it out. Um, and then another thing I want to fix uh, is my randomization script because at the moment something, not always, but occasionally something's not working with it and it, it will not 
generate four unique shapes. Um, and there might be two duplicates, or it might be that one didn't seem to load at all. Um, so that's just something that uh, I need to fix. Oh, hey, vegan, 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 vegan. Uh, fellow vegan, you're back. I'm back. We're both here. Two vegans saying that they're vegan and telling people that they're vegan, um, which apparently is what vegans do. So I, <laughs> I'm so distracted by the fact that we're both vegan that I've forgotten what I was talking about. But hey, man, what's up? I hope you're having a nice day. Um, anyway, as I was saying, um, something's not quite right with the script I've got that randomizes symbols. So I'm basically going to, no, it's not tea, it's, uh, it's coffee, because uh, that's pretty much all I do. I come here on a Saturday, drink about nine coffees, um, put myself into some sort of small seizure, um, and like make very, very small progress on my game projects. Uh, but yeah. I'm going to fix a randomization script today as well. So, before I do any of that, I'm going to get my Unity remote working because it's always such a shit. Okay, so actually, I think it should work already. So, let's find out. If I click play game to remind myself where I got to last time, I guess we're going to see. How's, how are you doing anyway, vegan, 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 vegan? We're, by the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna call you by your full name every time because I find it quite funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, how's your Saturday going? Where where in the world are you? I can't remember if we established this last time. And while you're telling me how you're doing, all right, I'm gonna it's loaded up on my phone now, so I'm gonna give this a go. I think I might even try and adjust this a bit as well because. Feel like I'm off camera, but um, all right, play game. All right, there's the card thing sliding up, slides down, shows us three symbols that have successfully randomized on this occasion. Look there, see, that's obviously problematic. Something didn't load right. Okay, so that's a perfect example of what's wrong there. But on the plus side, look at the nice game over screen, and um, the uh, just to illustrate the, so we've already seen one of the problems that I wanted to fix, which was the um, the randomization not working the way it should. And now I'm gonna um, quickly show the play again thing as well. So when I click play again, it slides out, there's this blank screen, and then it slides in with the memorize command and whatever else. So the real question is, which of these two things do I try and fix first? Do I fix the animation for the game over card? No, I'm not gonna do that because that that's actually not game breaking, it's just not very sexy. Um, so I think really I just need to, I need to get on with this. Um, yeah, I, I, I need to figure out what's going on with the symbol randomization. And vegan, 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 I see you're in the EU, me too. I guess it's getting pretty coronavirus-y wherever you are, same as here. Offices are closing, people are panicking, Australia's run out of toilet paper. Um, I bought 20 cans of beans uh, for some reason in the past week, uh, so in the cupboard at the moment I have 18 tins of beans stacked up. Uh, I'm not really sure why, I think I'm part of the problem. <laughs> I just thought if the supermarkets were going to collapse, at least I'll have 20 tins of beans to keep me going for like a day. Um, so whatever. Uh, anyway, right. I'm going to try and get this problem to happen again and we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, be beans are good. I fucking love beans in all forms, whether it's in like bean chili form uh, with like butter beans, cannelli beans, uh, kidney beans. I like um, I like baked beans with a jacket potato. Okay, so that worked fine. Let's see if it has a problem when it comes down now. Boom. Okay, there we go. There's the problem. So I'm going to pause this before my timer runs out. And let's see. Um, so in this case, if I open up some of my scripts over here. Mm -mm -mm. 
Okay, so... I can see here on my random symbols list set that I've um, I've clearly got four unique symbols and I recognise from the colour palettes of each one that they're still the same. So I think I know what it is. The one that's duplicated is this one, the one, the new one. That, so the last one in the list, um, in this case element three, is always the new symbol. And then we can see here this is the one that duplicated. And I, I'm pretty sure I remember in the last two instances when that happened, it was also the same thing, where it was the new symbol that got duplicated. So I think this is something to do with, I need to make sure that it updates the other symbols first, and then updates the new symbol. I think I know how I'm going to do it as well, but I, I want to read through this first to, um, well actually I'm going to note down on my notepad what my idea is for how to fix it before I forget. Um, add argument to symbol update. Um, string oh shit I don't know tag slash new symbol whatever um, in symbol update function Whereabouts in um, whereabouts in the, in the EU are you? Uh, vegan, 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 vegan. Spain, Germany, Italy, Eastern Europe, Northeastern Europe, Scandinavia, ah, oh. Sweden, Denmark, Norway, one of them. Or Finland. <laughs> I know Finland's not Scandinavia. I was I was saying it to trigger you. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. I, I I reckon you're in Denmark. That's my gut feeling. All right, so what I've been writing down here, it's probably not legible if I hold it up to the camera. Maybe it is. Uh, it's pretty much, we're gonna um, add an argument to the symbol update function 
that uh, that that is a string where I can just write wh whether we want the old symbols or the new symbol, and then um, it's just going to have a check where it says if I'm the new if I'm not the new symbol, like update. Um, if I am the new symbol, update. Um, and then I'm just going to literally have it have the same function run twice, one after the other. So it's going to be for each for e symbol update for each symbol. Um, for the old symbols and then it's going to run again for the new symbol which should mean because i remember this was a problem from when i did it in the prototype which is what i'm calling it now when i when i made the game and then deleted it by accident without backing it up we call it a prototype which if anyone wants to see it they can watch some of my older streams on youtube um from earlier in the year uh so what was I actually doing? Oh yeah, so I can see everything's loaded in fine there. I can see here in the symbol data lists or whatever you want to call them. Um, this is essentially the array that is used to update the things. So yeah, so I can see here they've decided that okay, interesting. Let, let's read what um, okay, so it said here that new symbol was going to be symbol number one, so that's that one there. Um, mm, 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 mm. And so then, yeah, that's the problem, is that it generated a new random symbol as symbol one. which also increased the length of this array, which meant that this updating the symbol script um, Yeah. All right. Okay, I think I know what's up. I'm going to I'm going to go with my gut and try this uh, try try this thing I've written down, which shouldn't be a massive change to be honest. So Where's my scripts? Um, I'm going to open the C-sharp project, which is going to take like an hour, because <laughs> my computer's slow. Slow, slow, slow. I'm in a very good mood at the moment. I just uh, feel like, oh, I don't know. Lots of stuff is uh, working quite well for me at the moment. Games projects are going well. Work stuff's going well. Uh, I'm not being a complete hermit like I usually am. Lots of uh, lots of nice stuff. I'm just I'm feeling it at the moment. <laughs> What's my computer specs? Tell you what, I'm going to open them up. Um, I don't know if it's safe for me to put my computer system specs on the screen, but let's find out. I'm just going to. Um, uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, my, my computer is being slow because it's trying to load up Visual Studio at the same time. Why am I feeling well? It's called guaranine me methyltheo. Oh fuck! Uh, gu <laughs> gu one second. <laughs> oh, Louis Mendez, 070. Do I want to become famous? I could buy followers, primes, and viewers on followingbot.com. I'll tell you what, Louis Mendez. Um, anyone that feels like they need to buy followers to feel fulfilled in their life needs to get a fucking grip. Um, why would anyone, like, that's fucking lame. <laughs> uh, anyway, whatever. As I was saying, um, guaranine methyl theobromine 137 trimeth <laughs> tri Um, is that like some sort of, um, vegan, uh, element? I'm, I'm hoping it's, um... 
I don't know. They call it the vegan chemical compound. Ah, you know what? You're right. See, normally when I start my stream, I've woken up like half an hour before and I'm having my first coffee. Uh, little known secret is that today I woke up at a, at a reputable time, played Xbox for a couple of hours with my brother, and, uh, and so now I'm actually on my second coffee. Um, so that's probably why I'm, I'm alive instead of being uh, still half asleep. Anyway... Alright, so here's the plan. And I've got a backed up version on GitHub in case this is problematic and I can't remember how to fix it. So. Now I'm just thinking. That is a fancy name for caffeine. Guaranine methyl theobromine one three seven trimethyl xanthine theine. Guaranine methyl theobro methyl theobromine one three seven trimethyl xanthine theine. There you go. See, I could do a science. I'm just trying to think in the in the interest of dry practices don't repeat yourself what i was going to do is literally copy and paste this chunk twice but i think maybe no nah, i think i yeah i think i just need to I'll do it like this and I can clean it up afterwards if necessary, just to see if it helps before I kill myself with <laughs> overdoing it. Um, um, So then we're going to do this. If um, old or new symbol equals old. Oh. No, you know what? That's a fucking stupid way to do it. We're going to make it a boolean and we're going to call it uh, is new symbol uh, no we're not going to call it that we're going to call it update new symbol true or false so if update 
uh, new symbol equals false. need this if Oh, nice. Is that where you are? Because here, even though it might look like there's a lot of bright crap coming out of the window there, it's actually pretty miserable and overcast. But yesterday it was uh, blazing, um, beautiful sunshine, and it was really nice. <laughs> oh, I didn't show my PC specs. Uh, I, I, I got distracted. We all got distracted. We, I'll tell you what I got distracted by. That fucking dildo who came in here and, and talking about buying followers. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, hold on, where's my thing? About your PC. Uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, my processor is a uh, you know what? I'm just gonna put it on the screen. So my my processor is a Intel R Core i7-3770, 3.4 gigahertz, something like that. Eight gigs of RAM. Uh, hold on, I've got more interesting uh, system specs written somewhere. System info, that's what I want. I think, isn't it? There we go. Yeah, that's the one I want. I got it. No, that's not it either. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, so basically, long story short, I got this PC as like a uh, a custom build, but like from a website, from a company that like has pre-made custom builds that they, you know, build and, and ship to you. Um, <clears throat> so I got it for about 400 pounds. Um, in like 2012 or 2013 or something like that so I've had it for about seven yeah seven years I think um, so it's a good old reliable workhorse um, but I've never I've never done any upgrades to it other than buying peripherals like you know screens and speakers and like me mechanical keyboards and stuff so 
but the actual the core the core tower is still the old thing but my my plan longer term uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah it was like and and um uh yeah it was about it was about four or five hundred if i remember correctly um and all of the specs at the time were really good except for the graphics card which is a bit shit um well very shit Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we are not updating the new symbol yet, then it does all this stuff as usual. And if it is the new symbol, we do nothing, we skip it. Otherwise, we, we load an existing symbol, blah, 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 blah. Yep, fine. And then down here, if, if it is the new symbol, Then we basically do the same thing again, except this time we do nothing down here. Simple as we already did it. Stop typing like an idiot. But yeah, I can't wait to um, uh, I can't wait to eventually um, get a new computer and call me crazy the direction I'm leaning in at the moment and when I say leaning I've been dreaming about doing this for like a couple of years now but I've never been able to save up the money to afford it um, is uh, not getting a tower but instead basically I spend a huge amount of time on the train every day so instead what I want to do is I want to get uh, a decent laptop um, and then one of the like you know like the Razer eGPU things um, with a good graphics card in it so then basically I can sit on the train do um, do some like minor development that doesn't require too much power and then when I get home if I want to do stuff that involves rendering or whatever else you know who knows what um, I, I literally just plug in the one Thunderbolt thing from the eGPU and it connects to all of like my keyboard speakers uh, you know all the USB peripheral stuff um, that's like my dream because then I get the combined power of the uh, of the desktop but then I can like you know I can I can do stuff uh, on the laptop as well so that's that that's the end game for me at the moment um, and it's not crazily expensive either so yeah anyway okay so just to check symbol update now has these two things and it basically says if update new symbol is false or true, which is good. So I'm going to save that now. Um, yeah, that's my plan. Like really good, uh, really portable laptop. Um, so for example, one of the lap the laptop I'm currently I'm not a Razer fanboy or anything for the record. Um, in fact, I think the Chroma stuff is like, I, I think the um, RGB stuff that Razer usually does is a bit cringe, but um, uh, the um, I think the Razer Stealth, like the small 13 inch one they do, looks fucking amazing. And it's like exactly for like portability, but also it's not a terrible laptop. Um, it seems pretty great for what for what I want to do. But to be honest, I'm saving up um, this year for a few things. So it's not going to be for a few months that I look into that sort of stuff anyway. So maybe something new will come out in, the, in time. So where is nice run simple update? That's all I need.
Mm. Okay, so now that we've split it into two processes, what the fuck is this? Uh, I'll click enable on that. A bit scary. Something I don't understand. Okay, so now what should happen is it updates the existing symbols and then it adds a new symbol after the other ones have been updated. And the only other thing I want to check actually is here in the symbol manager we've got another script called add as new symbol. Randomized symbol. No, that should be fine. I think situations where it's all looked the same was just because we don't have a lot of variety in the symbols that can be generated. So I think that's just coincidence if in the first three that are shown, if they're um, looking like they are um, duplicates. I think, that's, I think that's a false positive, so to speak, of that error. And it's not actually happening, it's just... Alright, come on. Come on, old workhorse. And that's something I'm looking forward to as well. Once it's fixed, once I've got a new laptop uh, or computer system, I won't have to wait for like 20 minutes every time I do something on Unity. Okay, so three shapes there. Thing comes up, thing goes down. And I think... Are they the same three sh shapes as before? I need, to, I need to spot this again. Game over, play again. Okay, thing goes down, thing comes up. So we got a black and orange one, a grey and green one, and a green and blue one. Black and orange, grey and green, was that? Okay. Let's try it again. At some point, um, there's usually a couple of other guys that are around on a Saturday that swing by the stream as well. So I don't know, I don't know if my Streamlabs thing is just um, oh, uh, so two purples, a grey and a blue purple, and one that looks like a poppy. Shit, ah oh, balls. Okay, <laughs> so it's total bullshit because that time it made some completely random. Okay, so something's obviously not right there. So that when it sets up level, it generates the prefab, which in this case has four symbols. It picks which one is going to be the new symbol. Um, existing symbol so what's happening in load existing symbol because that's obviously or they're actually no OK, 
Okay, so that all should that all should be working. Hmm. I don't know what the issue is though. I don't understand why it was breaking. Um, let's see if reading the debug error log thing will help. <laughs> okay, so we've got three things there. And now I've already paused it <coughs> to try and Maybe I should even step through. Well, hold on. There's your first weird situation. Why are there four things here? So let's see what happens. Oh, okay. So for some reason, Let's see what happened here. So why the f why why did it continue to add symbols to that array thing? number of symbols is four. So it's not doing that.
Oh, no worries, man. Have a good, uh, have a good nap. Hopefully, I'll have figured out how to uh, fix this shit um, <laughs> by the time you wake up. think this is going to help me debug it so let's see because basically so what's happening at the moment is somewhere in the script now it's generating double the number of shapes symbols even which isn't what we want so we're going to try and run it again Yeah, we're gonna try and run it again and we're gonna see. Now it should say, um, when it stores, when it adds symbol data to that list where there was too many of them, we're gonna see which symbols it's adding it for. Um, so like where, well, well, more importantly, we're gonna see where in the process it's adding those. Um, so then we can figure out what's causing that to happen because it, it shouldn't, I don't think it should be happening. Um, okay, so we've got three symbols there. All right. It's the same issue as before where, uh, yeah, see? that All of a sudden, that size is seven. It's got three more than it should do. It should, it should be size four at this point. So we've got symbol data stored for one, two, three. Um, twice. Oh. I know why. I know why it's happening. I think that's gonna fix it. Fingers crossed, bitches. <sighs> it's 
It's quite quiet in my house at the moment. Both of my cats are sleeping. So there you go, that's the thing that cats do. I got cats and they're doing that. Right, what we're hoping to see now is that it doesn't double up on the number of shapes we're making. So we can see three there, fried egg, whatever. Hooray! Nice. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Awesome. Okay, let's try that again, play again, check this whole list refreshes and updates as it should. Um, Oh, we've got three alarmingly, hmm, I'm pretty sure when that loaded up, only two of those symbols, See, there you go, false positive, because it's, it's loaded three, it's just by chance, there's two symbols that are the same. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to add a thing that says, yeah, we, we need our duplication check. So something that I thought about having or not having and um, I've now decided needs to be in the game just because otherwise it'll piss people off and they'll think that it's broken here in the ad in the add as new symbol function we need a thing um, we need another function called check a symbol doesn't already exist so I'm going to very quickly go and get myself another coffee and then we're going to sit down and we're going to figure that out. So I will be back in just uh, just about two or three minutes.
All right, I am back. Um, before I do anything else, I'm gonna um, commit the thing we just did to the um, to the GitHub stuff, basically because we fixed the shape randomization stuff. We we fixed the duplicate randomization problem, um, or whatever you want to call it. So we're going to go for all, which actually is just two scripts. Symbol randomization um, error fixed by applying this commit. You will add the updated symbol update script that runs twice once first to um, to load existing symbols then again to load to add a new symbol I'm going to commit that to master I'm going to press the button that says push when it'll let me I think my, my stretch goal for today's stream is if I can get the gameplay to the same level that it was when I broke the project before, that would be a fucking dream come true. Uh, whether or not that will be possible, we'll see. But um, yeah, exciting stuff. Branch pushed, nice. Okay, so what we're doing now is this. We are checking if, um, We're going to add a new thing called check for duplicates. And uh, da, 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 da. Um, we're going to make it a bool um, There we go. And then actually just thinking up here, the logic should be randomize the symbol. Um, and then what we should actually have is if check for duplicates equals You know what? Uh, we're going to call it duplicate symbol check instead. To because then it makes more sense in the context of like doing it like this. If duplicate symbol check is equal to true bool 
symbol validated link symbol equals false. And then down here we're gonna say while um while unique symbol equals false. I'm quite enjoying the lo-fi music today. I think I think uh, chilled cow lo-fi hip hop radio beats to study slash relax to must have um, updated some of their songs because I don't recognise them all. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Yeah, because basically what we're saying. Um, yes, we randomize the symbol. We check if it already exists, like an exact duplicate. That's down there.
Right. <clears throat> okay. What was I doing? Okay. What we're actually trying to do here, um, we need to. We're going to use the iterator to cycle through the random symbols, the random symbols list thing. Um, so to do that, oops, come on, come on, come on. Um, So we've got this list called random symbols and it starts at zero and then so in the case of uh, thingy there'll be four things in it or oh, actually it doesn't matter if, if there's two things in it even what we want to do is
Mm -hmm. um. Oh, new follower. Hello. Uh, Kira Rees, thank you very much for following and hanging out. Um, hey, how's your day going? Are you having a good Saturday? I'm having a good Saturday. What was I doing? Um, each item. Uh, dude, um, yeah, uh, welcome to the party. So, uh, my background is like, I have no programming background or anything like that but I've been like doing games development as a hobby when I can find the time for a couple of years now so I've done the usual Pong clone stuff uh, I published something on Google and uh, Apple uh, app stores which is pretty cool um, in fact if you want I can show you I can show you it on my, on my website you think um, yeah. although I don't want to detract from the other stuff but let that load up pretty quickly uh, so I got this one called tessellate which is um yeah it's on you can find a link on wildgoatgames.co.uk or if you just search the name tessellate on app stores um, <laughs> uh, no I have never made a penny from um, from programming or any game projects like for me this is just uh, this is like my hobby, you know, like I, I've always dreamed of making games like just as a, as a thing to do. Um, I feel like if my livelihood depended on it, it wouldn't be very fun anymore. Whereas I, I just like having the ideas and having it as a creative outlet, you know. Um, so there you go. Anyway, what I'm doing at the moment is um, I'm working on my game called uh, Odd One In. At the moment, it doesn't look very interesting because this is a you know placeholder art. Basically, it's like a memory game. Um, it's like an arcade game where it shows you randomized symbols, takes them away, shows you them again with a new one added, um, and then like the idea is you get a high score by you you tap the one that wasn't there before, so you spot the odd one in. It then comes back. Um, like with another new shape and another new shape and another new shape and the faster you do it the higher score you get as well so it's about surviving for as long as you can and there's going to be like a leaderboard style thing um so you can see what what percentile of all the players you fall into so are you in the top one percent of high scores or are you uh do you fall in the top 85 percent of scores <laughs> in other words your uh, bottom end of the scale um so yeah and what I'm doing at the moment, I've noticed that um, it's quite jarring when I randomly generate a symbol and it's the same as one that already exists. So I'm writing this duplicate symbol check script, which is going to check if the symbol that's being created newly is the same as... Um... Uh, no, actually, I, I can't help with Discord because I don't know if it's because I'm um, in my late 20s, but I just don't... I don't get Discord. <laughs> it's uh, I, I've never really used it. Um, apparently, it's really useful if you're if you're doing game dev. So I should probably look into it. But um, I, I, I've I'm too intimidated by it to try it so far. So um, no, I can't help with Discord. But um, I tell you what, if uh, if you if you are interested in learning about programming, uh, if you go to Wild my website wildgoatgames.co.uk and um, there's a blog article from hold on where are we da, da, da. I wrote a blog article you know what I'm going to link it in the chat uh, in case you're interested explaining how I um, how I got round to like learning C sharp after like basically after trying and failing for many many years um, and in fact, I'll just quickly show you because that you can see it there. Uh, I got this this textbook um, called Learning C Sharp by Developing Games with Unity 3D. Um, 
and that was written by a guy that by a guy that wrote initially a thing uh, uh, this thing unity script basics for noobs before they got rid of unity scripts oh a moba like i mean to be honest you know it's i i, I think you could make a moba um like because the logic of a moba is quite straightforward isn't it like you've got like very set gameplay stuff that happens um i don't know how a solo dev could come up with the complexity of like the uh the other you know the big ones um you know all the riot game stuff but um yeah from experience what i would say as far as uh, programming goes um and this is my experience i mean look at this alone i'm making a game where it generates a random symbol and look look how much um it's i'm doing it every saturday and it's taking me weeks um just to do the basics so uh simplicity is i think i think keeping scope like clean and and like quite quite uh, agile is a, is a good way to do it so if you can make a really really simple moba and have it work properly and then add to it that's the way to do it i think um and then it's just about figuring out the logic i guess okay anyway i'm gonna stop rambling before i forget what i was doing um So, we're going to iterate through each item in the random symbols list and, and check through um, each element slash component bg color fg etc. Uh, use nested uh, if statements e.g. if the foreground is the same check if the background is the same I think I've got this now. So, if uh, level manager dot random symbols, um, and then I. Oh, Barabutus, what up? Welcome back. Uh, so, uh, Kira, Kira Rees, I don't know if you're still here, but Barabutus has um, been uh, doing game dev stuff in C Sharp for longer than me and has a better working knowledge of it. Um, so, so he might be able to help you with some resources as well. Um, yeah, Barabutus, I don't, I don't know if you can read the chat um, prior to joining, but um, Kira Rees was asking about... Um, good resources for um for learning the programming stuff so i linked to an article where i wrote about the stuff i uh i did to finally figure out how to do it um but i don't know if you have any tips or whatever um
oh fuck it, I'm not gonna mess around with that, I'll just do it this way. Uh, yes, exactly. I I plus plus is um, yeah, exactly. So yeah, so so what I'm doing at the moment, and um, I'm gonna you know I'm just gonna get it done while it's in my head, and then and then I'll I'll explain that actually. So ignore me. <laughs> um, Alright, so this is going to be nested if city, and if one of the other guys was here, uh, they'd probably tell me uh, there's a better a better way to do that, this, but fuck them, I'll learn from my mistakes. Uh, now let's just check up here, how many things have we got? You know what, I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to... Um, I'm going to shove it here. Um, just as like a, a reference um, thing. How's your uh, how's your Saturday going anyway, Barabutus? What you up to? You still working on your um, shuffle putt game? Nowadays, that dude, there are so many LGBT streamers. I, uh, I, I, I don't know what to. Um, I, I, I don't know what to, what to. Are you saying? Uh, I, I'm not an LGBT streamer. I don't know if that was the. Uh, <laughs> but also, I'm not. I'm not sure there's there's anything wrong with there being lots of streamers. <laughs> like. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna wade into that. I hope this is gonna work. Um, Um, 
that's fair enough, Kyrie's, but also I would recommend like if if LGBT stuff bothers you, like just look past it. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the creepy. It's a fox. It's a uh, you know, it's like a stuffed animal thing that I can't even really remember where it came from. I think it came from like a random furniture store. Um. But yeah, I would recommend don't uh, don't let um, stuff like that, you know, bother you, because there are there are more important things to be bothered by in life. Uh, I am not doing a while loop in the update, Barabotus. I am doing. Um, in fact, I'm not doing anything in update. Um, all of this, I'm not even sure if there is an update function here. No, see, update is empty. All of this is on the side of the um, on the side of the uh, each symbol has a bunch of functions attached to it that then like run. It runs on itself, kind of a thing. So in my level manager thing, when it sets up the level, it basically goes through each symbol and says, okay, symbol one, I see you, run your uh, symbol update function, and then it does all of this stuff. And within that, now it's gonna check if um, it's a duplicate of an existing symbol. So uh, yeah, actually uh, you'll remember Barabutus from um, when we were doing it before, I was saying stuff like, oh, I don't think we need that. It's gonna be fine. I've decided that we need the, um, we need the uh, non-duplicate symbol check, which is what we're doing now. Uh, anyway, right, what was I doing? Uh, oh, and before you arrived, I fixed the symbol randomization. So now we have proper, it's not broken anymore and things update properly. So I'm very excited about that and I'm hoping it's gonna stay not broken. Um, <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we'll see, time will tell, but it looked like I fixed it for the time being. Um, Right, I'm, I'm, I keep getting distracted by idle, idle chit chat. Um, You know what? There is a there is a don't repeat yourself thing that I can do here. Um, Ultra descriptive names of the arguments. Component in random symbols list. Component on this symbol. Perfect. But, um,
doing. You can tell I'm, I'm nearing the end of my third coffee because I'm like <laughs> looking around like a fucking um, hyped up. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm over. I'm o I'm overthinking it. I'm just not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm just gonna do it the the chunky way. Um. Okay, wait, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So actually, we probably don't need that last one. So then we want a symbol FG sprite. Symbol FG color. This one becomes color. <laughs> uh, I see lots of messages. I'm going to look at them in a second I'm just doing this doing this before I forget um, what I'm doing
I'm guessing your message about a pyramid of doom is relating to this this uh, monstrosity over here, um, which you're probably right. I've, I need to read through it and like spot where the where the issues are, um, and make sure I've got like breaks in there so that I don't have a an endless loop or anything like that. Um, yeah, I've, I've not done that just yet. Um, Uh, you're probably right about the for each statement. For me, um, this is the most logical way to do it because the whole point is I'm checking if I'm checking if if all of them. So basically, if if in my random symbols list, if the new symbol exactly matches every element. So all I really want to do is um, yeah, all, all I really want to do is if all of these factors. Um, so to be honest, what I could have done, to be honest with you, it, I could change this to be if this... <laughs> yeah, I could have just used the, the AND operator. So so I could say if, if this is a match to this, and 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 this is a match to this. So with eight things all checking if it's a match to this, flag it as a duplicate, otherwise do whatever. And I guess I am doing that but I'm just doing it in a more granular approach here. Um, and yeah, well, I probably could use a full reach thing, but this this logic makes sense in my head, so I'm just going to stick with this for the moment. Um, Ah, that's what I want that to say true. Hmm. 
and at which point we can break the while loop because it doesn't need to it doesn't need to carry on we've already spotted one one duplicate otherwise if we go through all of this and there isn't a duplicate then we increase the iterator and it checks the next one and then um, yeah let's say if there's two symbols on there so the count symbol count would be two but the actual we'd only be interested in looking at zero uh -huh. so actually we're gonna just we're gonna put a minus one there because that's gonna fix it uh, yes Kira I will show it in just a second I'm literally just just checking this first I think we should be good to we should be good to go it's then up here and then we say up here if so we randomize the symbol when we're adding a new one if duplicate symbol check turns out to be true so if, if it is a duplicate then we just repeat the process yep okay and that should that should solve it and the last thing I want to check is triple check so let's say there's there's there there are two symbols one of which Oh, that's a good point. Um, it's going to flag itself as a duplicate of itself. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not because it's doing this before it adds it to the store symbol data thing. So it's, it's not going to be an issue. Um, which means, okay, so at this point, if we're adding this as a new symbol, um, then, so if, if this is the third symbol, and there are two that already exist, the count of the symbol data, the random symbol list, is going to be two. So symbol count here is going to show up as one. Uh, I don't think I need this minus one. I think it's going to sort itself out. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just click play and see what happens. Just quickly check, there's no other things I need to save, nope. Okay. Good catch, my man. Perfect. Good spot. All right. Just wait for this to load up so it stops doing the spinny thing. waiting for the older uh, the old phone to um, sort itself out All right play game thing comes up oh dear I think I've already uh, there we go we've got an endless loop uh, so I'm gonna have to quit unity and reload it
because uh, I fucked up. So, uh, let's see, task manager, where is it? Um, all right, now we're gonna go and figure out why it's causing an endless loop right after I've taken a quick pee break because three coffees um, is a thing. <laughs> uh, okay, Unity Editor, end task, all right. Okay, so I'm just gonna open up Unity Hub and get Unity loading. And then once it's loaded up, uh, we are going to uh, have the fun experience of figuring out where I fucked up. I think I just need to put more breaks in. That's what while loops need. It just needs breaks fucking everywhere. There'll be somewhere where I could have put a break in or an else if. That's what I need. I need an else if in here somewhere. In fact, that's exactly what it is. Here where it says else I++, that should be else if. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I think I know what's up. All right, so Unity is loading up and now I'm gonna go and, yeah. Cool, I'll be back in a sec.
Yo, I'm back with my uh, with my broken loop, and I got some food because I started to think uh, I should be not doing what I usually do and starving myself and drinking too much coffee, and instead I should eat something. Uh, right. So I think what I established before I went away was that I'm pretty sure. And in fact, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, okay. We are going to... We're going to comment out all of that. We're going to do a new... one of these that's uh, simplified we're also we're gonna have an else if um, this this thing is going to be an else if this What you doing, Brian? Stop it. There we go. The cats have arrived. No, 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 no. Don't jump up here. Come on. Come on. There you go, buddy. No, 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 no. Come back on here. Come on. Come on. There you go. A little bit of stroking, see? Just sit down. Sit down. He's going to sit down. Um, all right. This is going to be a disgusting uh, nested heap of shit. Okay. BG color was the last one I did, so it's BG color. And then this one.
this is some truly repulsive shit. Uh, oh no, I just I just did the same one twice as well. So we want shadow color. One, two, three, four. I'm halfway through it already, to be fair. color <clears throat> then sprite uh, sprite color and I actually realistically I probably don't need to check every single one of these but I'm just for safekeeping I'm whacking them all in so sprite color there This one, the penultimate one. If the uh, if the Aussie guy Dom was here, he'd fucking crucify me. <laughs> I, I, I can't. I imagine what I'm doing here is really inappropriate, um, <clears throat> or considered like shit programming. But you know what? I don't care. Right. So if all eight of those components um, match the whatchamacallit, return true. Um, so hopefully if this works, I can delete this block of nested bollocks here. Um, Everything else should be. Yeah. So I just need to pass through I when I do it. So there's I there. There's I there. All right. I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say I think it was okay. I think it's going to be okay. Something went wrong with the um, while loop in duplicate. With the I. Oh, really? Can I? Oh, okay. Um, dude, you have 
saved my ass. Okay, there we go. That's so much better. For some reason, I didn't think to do that. That is so much nice to look at. Thank you. All right. So here goes. Game breaking infinite loop. Here we come. Although that shouldn't be possible because there's an else if and a break and everything. Um, yeah. And yeah, the whole thing is... Um, yeah. No, it looks, it looks good. It looks like it works. All right, I'm going to click play. I'm just waiting for it to load up. Have some food. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to click play game. Memorize your symbols. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, it's done it again. Come on, task manager. It's all right, we'll figure it out. One, one wild loop at a time. There'll be something going on in there where it's just endlessly. The interesting thing is, <gasps> I know what to do. I know why it's triggering. No, 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 dude, it's not the if. Well, it is the if, but it's specifically happening um, because, um, yeah, because when there's when there's only one, um, so I'm going to put a thing in here that says if random symbols count isn't null, basically, because that's what's happening. It's trying to check when it adds the very first symbol. It's trying to check if it's a duplicate, if you see what I mean. Um, in a list that doesn't currently exist. So, um, yeah, that's what I need to do. And when uh, when Unity does load up, it's just loading up at the moment. When it loads up, I'm going to sense check this in the inspector because I should be able to see it. Um, in fact, no, I can check it here. So in level manager, um, yeah. See here, um, yeah. Exactly, exactly. So there's, there's, yeah. That's what it is. I just need a, a, a fail safe. In this symbol count thing um, that says and so it's gonna be I don't even need to wait for unity to load up so if uh, if uh, da, 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 da. So, if the random symbols count is greater than zero, and the yeah, 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 otherwise, it just returns the result of false. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's gonna fix it. I'm sure of it. I think I think we've uh, cracked it there. When Unity eventually decides to load up, just give it a minute because it's it's there, but it's um. It's doing the thing where it tries to get me to update update to a new version of Unity, I think. Who's ready to watch my thing crash again? 
crash, crash, crash. I'm ready. Brian's ready. Even Unity Remote is almost ready. Any second now. Come on. There we go. Unity Remote is ready. Um, <laughs> oh shit! Oh, it's uh, it's it's crashed again. Uh, this isn't the first time I've had this this happen as well. And it's like when it happens, you just have to go through the whole thing and like try and spot all the places. It's gonna be the if statement. You're right. It's and it's always fucking while loops. And you know what? There's another while loop further up that might be causing it too. Um, there's like two while loops happening at the same time. Because actually, so well, I'll just open up Unity Hub. Here. Oh. Right, here. So when we're creating a new symbol, what happens is we randomize, we randomly generate a symbol with, you know, we pick a bunch of numbers um, and that pulls in the relevant assets for each piece. Then we check to see if there's a duplicate symbol. And if that returns true, then we go into this process of just repeatedly checking. But there are breaks in there, so here's what I'm thinking. And actually, no, if this is only so if duplicate symbol check returns false, it should carry on anyway. And the fact that it's happening every time, not only when it spots a duplicate symbol. Um. If I just, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to already delete that because it bothers me. Uh. Right. Oh shit, I've got this in the wrong place. Okay, I think I might have already fixed it. Um, I hear you. Um, fuck it. Even though I can use a coroutine, I'm feeling I'm feeling uh, audacious, and I'm just gonna. That was a typo before, which I think is why it didn't work. I just put it in the wrong bit. So now. Let's um, let's see what happens, and and let's make the program freeze again because I'm into it. I'm gonna put my phone on silent because it keeps vibrating. Sorry about that. If you were hearing dings every couple of seconds, um. Ooh, apparently the Bioshock collection is only eight ninety nine on uh, Xbox One at the moment. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, I was talking with my family about Bioshock remastered, whatever. Because um, it's been years since I've played those games and they're so good. Okay, play game. Come on. Memorize your symbols. Ah, shit. I've done it again. Okay, you win. We're doing the co-routine thing. God damn it. Oh... <laughs> uh...
All right. So now I'm trying to remember doing a co-routine is um something like um Yeah, I've tried with the Visual Studio debugging in the past and it was just a minefield. I could I couldn't figure it out. Um Do I do something like this? Is it like that or am I imagining it? I enumerator, that's it. Thank you, dude. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Um, okay. In fact, wait, can I just, can I just do it by putting, putting that in there for now? Yeah, do you think, uh, do you think I can do it like that where I have, because obviously I want it to return a bool. Oh, no, I know what it is. Yeah. I just want to return. That's what I want to do. Right? Oh yeah, isn't it? Is that it? Yield return, no, something else isn't right. All right, let's try that. So I wanna find the spots where You know what? 
fuck it. I, I, I appreciate that um, using a coroutine makes it easier to fix it, but I feel like I'm, br I'm changing too much of the rest of my script um, to do it, and so I'd rather just stick with a broken one, which sounds counterintuitive, but otherwise I'm going to spend hours figuring out how to do the thing to debug the thing I want to fix. Um, okay. Oh, wait, hold on. That's what it is, isn't it? If I go up here, before I poo poo it all and throw it all away, if I go up here. Uh, Midelli37, thank you for the follow. What is up? I hope you're having a nice Saturday. Um. We definitely need the uh... Yeah, no, I take it back. I'm I'm gonna stick stick with what I had and we're gonna fix it the old fashioned broken way. Um because otherwise I have to change so many of my scripts and I just don't wanna do that, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Um all right, so something when trying to generate the original, the, the initial three symbols, something in here isn't isn't letting it do that, and somehow it's still breaking. Sorry, it's not breaking, even though there are multiple. Um, So if I, okay, so if I, I start this and I say I is zero, and let's say, let's assume, so they're making the first symbol. So at the moment, um, maybe if I change that to, um, does not equal null. It's this one down here as well. I think it's, uh, in fact, yeah, you know what? That's what was causing it to break that time because I was, it's like you were saying, I was zero and symbol count was zero. So, Now I need to kind of like think through how this, so after the, f so when the first symbol is being made, there's nothing in that list. So it wouldn't count as greater than zero. So basically, 
that's why it's breaking as well because it's doing this and then i stays I need I need to like increase I need to do the iterator thing not just here um, hold on yeah there's some there's something going on here like Okay, <clears throat> so this runs if if symbols already exist, whereas Okay. You know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to It needs to be up here. dot random symbols dot count equals that is greater than zero then we do this so if if there if there is a symbol to check then we check if it's a duplicate otherwise we don't need to give a shit about it which is great I don't need that there anymore because it's it's being done before this is even like called so if the symbol count is one so let's say we're we're creating the second symbol of that initial set of three 
so the symbol count is one um, yeah so we're checking if the second symbol is a duplicate we're setting the, the boolean that's the result to false by default the symbol count is going to be one because there's one in existence and the iterator is set to zero so while i which is currently zero is less than one which it currently is if i is less than if so if zero is less than one which it is um are they duplicates if so say it's duplicate change the result to true break so break the while loop and then we return the result perfect if it's not a duplicate then we increase the iterator to one um, which which there already isn't because in that case yeah so this is working correctly because at that point there isn't a symbol at item one in that list there isn't anything else to check um, because there's only one other thing there which was at point zero because of the way the arrays and lists and that work so then it says we check through all symbols which in this case is just one and it looks like uh, uh, it's unique um, at which point we break as well boom okay okay I think I feel better about this and I think hey buddy little squeaker Brian come on no 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 come on buddy come on. you're just gonna be annoyed so yeah, fine I always worry I'm gonna run over them with my chair all right Play game. Memorize these symbols. <gasps> okay. Let's just quickly review what happened in this. So, creating the first thing, symbol data stored for symbol one. It didn't need to check because no symbol existed, and that's what was breaking it before. Um, checking if symbol 2 is a duplicate because now that there's a, another symbol in existence no clash with random symbol 0 continue check others for duplicates check through all symbols and it looks like it's unique symbol data stored for symbol 2 checking if symbol 3 is duplicate no clash with the first item in the list no clash with the second item in the list check through and then it's confirming that it's checked through all of them which in this case is those two and it stores them again do not add new symbol again as this is the intro level. That's my fix for something that was happening earlier. Um, perfect. Start the intro timer. Timer complete. Trigger card animation. Then we came into this bit. Um, Okay, and then this is where it gets interesting because not only is it pulling in stuff from the record, but um, yeah, because it's only when we add a new one. So symbol one is the one to randomize, randomize here, blah, 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 checking if it's a duplicate. Yeah, perfectly, perfect. So it's all working as it should. Amazing, perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, and then you know what let's just cycle through I'm literally just gonna cycle through this a few times to see if we can spot either symbols being duplicated or things not loading as they should so I didn't pay attention that time but I think okay white and purple 
purple, green, orange, blue. White, purple, purple, green, orange. White, purple, purple, green, orange, blue. And then there's new one there. Perfect. I'm just going to press one of these to get game over. Uh, blue and yellow, orange, green, green and purple. Blue and yellow, orange, green, blue and purple. Perfect. Okay. So red and purple, red and grey, black and orange. Red and purple, red and grey, black and orange. And then that's the new one. And in this case, we said great job. All right, you know what? I think having five successful runs in a row is good enough um, evidence that it's working. So we can keep an eye on it. But I'm pretty pleased with the way that's working. So just to recap. We're only, uh, I've only been on this stream for three hours. We're, we're approaching the three hour mark. We're just under. The things that um, I said as I consult my notepad, the things we said we were gonna do on this stream, um, fix the random randomization script, done. Uh, then we decided that we were gonna fix the duplication thing so that it stopped feeling like it was a bug. Um, so we fixed that which actually I didn't put on my to-do list, we just decided to do that, but we've done it. Still to go on my to-do list for today. This is something I do now, by the way. I'm right, I write I write a, uh, <laughs> I, I write a recap of what we did on the last stream. Well, at the end of each stream, I write a summary of what we did, and then I write like a to-do list for the next stream. So when I come back a week later, um, I can just refer to it. So last time we added the gameplay, so touch recognition, score tracking, win, lose, things and we added a game over screen and a success screen and we said we were going to fix play again on game over so it didn't do that blank screen thing um we are going to do the transition to the next level and we're going to fix the randomization script uh, so we fixed the randomization script i've made an executive decision not to worry about the play again thing for the moment um because of the way it works, I can clean it up later on. I know it's only like one thing. I'm not cleaning up multiple versions of anything. So I can figure that out um, a bit further on. Having said that, something I am gonna do, I don't like the gray. Um, I like it for the symbols, but I don't like it for these cards. So I'm very quickly, in fact, that was something I wanted to do. I wanted to add in a check to make sure that the cards, when those cards come up, they're never the same color twice in a row. So I'm going to I'm gonna add in a thing that says previous card color used. Once I've committed this to GitHub. Um, By applying the, uh, this commit, we will, um, yeah, by applying this commit, um, uh, we will have um, our, uh, no. Iterates through the uh, items stored in random symbols. Uh, and um, checks no duplicates. letting that push. I'm going to have some more food in the meantime.
Right. So, the real question is, now, do I press on and make the prefabs for the other symbol sets, so like the other levels, or do I, um, I think what I'm going to do first is a quick fix, he says, knowing, knowing that it's going to end up being a whole thing, but a similar fix to what we just did, and that's why I think I'm going to do it now, because it's fresh in my head, where when a card, one of those cards comes up saying like, memorize these symbols, blah, blah, blah. It, it stores a record in the card manager script of what what number in the in the asset library, what, what color was last used. Um, and then it just does a check when it's, when it's generating the cards. It just does a check to make sure it's not using the previous thing. And then the other thing is the range, the random range of the colors. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna exclude the gray one from that, which is fine because it's the item zero in the list, so I can just change the number, so it doesn't include the gray. Um, although really, what I could do instead is I could just get rid of the gray. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I don't know. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so I think now that I've done that commit thing, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so if I go into my card manager, That's what we want, card enter. You see here, this is the only, this is pretty much it. Um, so what, here's what we're gonna do. Um, public int last, um, last card color. And then we're pretty much just going to say, um, if That's what we're going to do. And in a second, I'm probably going to make this a uh, function on its own. Uh, oh, no, that's what I want. Sorry, I don't want this. I want... If... Uh, Last card color does not equal null, and um, ah, okay. I'm going to set that to minus one in the inspector. 
that's what I'll do. I'll have it set to minus one, just so that it knows where what's up, where it's at. doing this now instead of later so <laughs> not gonna have a capital O there you want uh, uh, if card color selector is equal to um, Apparently, I fucking love while loops because <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm using them every chance I can get, even though uh, I swear that I break everything with them. So while um, unique color e equals false, uh, I've got another script in here I think that I can rip off. Yes, that's what I want. Yeah, so while that equals false, randomize again. You know what? I'm just gonna, yep, I'm just gonna cut and paste that because it's actually the same script that I want to use here, and I'm using it for. I'm using the same logic I use elsewhere for um. um That's what I want to do. And we're just going to change that to one while we're at it so that the nasty grey isn't there. Uh, yes, I am still alive. I am fucking smashing it, man. I, uh, like, we are making great progress. Um, also, I'm glad to see that you're concerned for my well-being, but yes, I am still alive. Uh, no. Okay, this, this, whatever this lo-fi song playing at the moment is, I, whenever it plays, it has a noise like a seagull, really quiet in the background, and it sounds almost exactly like my cat Brian. He's got like a really high-pitched weenie um, sort of a noise, and it sounds like my mic monitoring, um, picking up him in another room. Is that right, Brian? You little no? Come on. Come on. You know what? I'm just going to stop interacting with the cats. Um, what have I done in the last hour? Um, basically, I fixed the duplicating symbols and um, that was it, pretty much. Uh, so now the symbols do not duplicate, which is nice. And now we're doing a quick thing to, um, 
to uh, fix something to do with the colour of the cards that come up and make sure that it's always a, a new, previously unused colour. Uh, on the subject of randomness and, uh, and generating things that are different every time, um, so this random range stuff is like, there's like different mathematical concepts around how randomness works. And I was looking into it and apparently like, so the way that Unity Engine's random range function works is like, it's it's based on someone or other's theorem or, you know, there's like a specific mathematical model that it follows. And there are different ones that exist elsewhere in C Sharp, I think. Like the system one might be different to the Unity Engine one or something like that. But um, uh, what was I going to say? The... Um, the uh, Oh, fuck, I can't even remember what I was talking about. Um, uh, that's what it is. The different models to randomization. So Tetris, for example, has a special approach to randomi randomization where it... Um, it randomly mixes up the different Tetris symbols that can be generated, but it picks them, it like creates a set of seven, puts them in a random order, and it will iterate through that list. And then it picks out another set of seven or eight symbols, whatever it is. Um, so the maximum, I think it's seven symbols in Tetris, so the maximum distance between the same symbol popping up would be seven times, uh, and the minimum distance would be um, next to each other if it was the last and then the first in a set of seven um, anyway I, I think it's interesting because you could apply the same approach to something like with this if I wanted my cards to feel like they were always unique and there was a sufficient gap between the same color coming up twice so basically if I wanted to avoid it being like green card yellow card green card yellow card green card blue card um, which in inevitably, if I've only got seven or eight colours to pick from, that will happen sometimes. If I wanted to avoid that, I could use the Tetris model and generate a set of numbers, and then you see what I mean. Uh, anyway, I, th I find that kind of interesting. Um, but whatever. So, that should do that anyway. <laughs> After all that rambling, I think I've fixed it, and I've just sneakily change this random range to start at 1 instead of 0 which means we should no longer be um, uh, pulling in grey shit um, because I like the grey colour for I like the grey colour for the symbols but I don't like the grey colour for the um, the other shit alright So, I think that might already have been fixed, so let's give it a go. What we're looking out for is A, the Unity not freezing up, <laughs> um, B, if I play through a few things and just let it go to game over, then restart the game, in theory, oh, that's what I need to do, I need to set it to minus one, otherwise it will be broken. So it should. Hmm. I should be seeing a public int here. Nope, it's up here. Okay, perfect. Uh, that's what I. Oh yeah, that's I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, so we're going to set this to minus one in the inspector, so that it doesn't break itself. Um, nice. Okay, and actually I'm going to keep that selected so I can keep an eye on it. And we're going to click play. I'm going to have another bit of food. All right.
you can tell the weather's finally um, getting better because it's 5 p.m. and it's still light outside. When I started doing this stream, it was dark by about 3 p.m. Um, so there you go. Random meaningless bit of information. Okay, so we still have some grey there. Oh, I know why. Before we do anything else, we're going to start the random range at 2. Because I don't want either of those grey bits. The dark grey we can stick with because it's sleek. Luxury. Um, but yeah. Right, let's go again. Yeah, now that I've eaten some food, I feel like I, I can um, allow my, myself to have another coffee. But I'm, I'm gonna save having a coffee as like a, a reward for this symbol, this card color thing working as I hope it does. Okay, so that's teal. The symbols all look fine. Grey. Why the fuck is it grey? I know why. Uh, well, actually, last card color. Oh, that's something I didn't do. I didn't update the last card color. Um. I know why. <laughs> ah, classic. I didn't actually update the script that updates the card. I just did all this bullshit over here. Um, okay. There we go. Now it's going to work. And when it works, I'm gonna go and get a coffee as a reward to myself. I'm very pleased that I'm making very good progress. Oh. At this point, I might even um, I might even be able to stick to my stretch goal for today of um, getting the actual core gameplay loop finished. But the tricky bit is when you get to the twelve symbols all together. Um, Yeah, once there's 12 symbols on the screen, doing the thing where it swaps symbols instead, that might be something for another stream. Because when I did it the first time, it took quite a lot of work. Okay, teal. And then we got three unique symbols. And then grey. And then we got four unique symbols. Even though some of them look similar, remember they're unique. And it's just... Um... And then red. That's cool. Uh, okay. One thing that I want to fix before I do anything else.
If I hit the play again button. No, that shouldn't be a problem because this bit stays here the whole time. Hmm. I'll have to check that. Basically, when I hit play again, it showed the same color twice. And I don't know why, so I'm going to try it again and see. come up which is number seven then we had red come up which is number nine then we have blue come up which is number five now if I hit play again Ah, fuck it. I'll leave it for now. But it's starting to come along anyway, if I may say so myself. Yeah. I think that might have done it then. Two, two cards in the same colour at the same time, but whatever. Oops. Okay, something went wrong there because I think I tried to tap something. Uh... Yeah, something weird went on then because I tapped something. Um, hmm, interesting. Whatever. That's a future bug for me to identify and fix. I don't really want to do that now. Um, okay, so now I can do another GitHub commit. call it um, what are we gonna call it uh, we're gonna call it um, the card duplicate color check by applying this commit um, same card color isn't used twice. Cool. I guess the only thing left to do now is um, make the other levels, which is simpler than it sounds because it's just a case of making prefabs. Um, so I'm going to make some prefabs for the other symbol sets, and I'm pretty sure, uh, based on how I've set up everything else, I'm pretty sure the scripts just like power themselves. So, yeah. Um, I reckon as soon as this has pushed itself to the thing, I'll very quickly go and grab a coffee, and then um, and then we can we can make the rest of the levels and just see what happens.
and like who knows maybe maybe it's going to feel pretty playable very quickly uh, which is quite exciting and given given that it's still quite relatively early as far as my streams go I might even have time to figure out the script that swaps the symbol um, I've got a place in the script where it's going to go uh, but at the moment nothing happens there it just kind of goes and stops Anyway, right, okay, I'm going to go and uh, get myself a coffee, so um, I'll be back in two minutes, and then it should be pretty exciting, because we're going to see what the rest of the game looks like, so see you in a sec.
I am back. And <clears throat> that means that it's time to do this stuff with making the new levels. So let's see uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna open up my gameplay scene. And I'm going to um, So for five symbols, I'm going to follow this the three symbols one as a guide. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, what I'm going to do. Okay, now I'm on it. Oshka, stop it. Sorry, I've got an annoying cat who's just woken up and decided she wants to go exactly where I don't want her to go. <laughs> Good old cats being cats. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oshka, what are you doing there? Crazy cats. Okay, so first things first, let's see if our, uh, so that's four symbols, that's five symbols, and that's three symbols. So, we'll look at that crazy honeycomb effect when they all layer and their, their masks uh, don't work properly, so they're um, treating each other like duplicates themselves. Anyway, okay, so that's that. Let's see if this first one works before I start adding the rest of them uh, and let's have our game manager open so that we can actually I'll, I'll use the level manager when we when we get it open mm -hmm. all right Fingers crossed. Okay, play game. Thing comes up. Thing goes down. Uh, and actually, while I'm at it, I'm cheating and I'm remembering the three symbols. It says grey background, green foreground, green background, grey foreground, and orange and purple. Uh, and let's just select the gameplay manager. Uh, ooh, teal and purple is new. So the high score is updated. It said great job plus four. And that's what I've not done. I've not added in the transition to the next scene. Uh, no, that's what, I, that's what it is actually. It's in the asset library. Uh, see? Oshka. <laughs> this she's like right there. Come on. Okay. I think. Yep, okay. <laughs> there we go. She's gone. No 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 no. Come on, Oshka. No. <laughs> The word Oshka means goat in Lithuanian and it's applicable for her because like I can't she's so stubborn like I'm trying to move her backwards without like being mean or anything obviously I'm trying to like casually gently uh, encourage her to like move backwards and she's like just putting up a lot of pressure <laughs> come on there you go she'll sit down no 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 come on come on Give her a bit of a stroke for a second, so hopefully she'll leave me alone. <sighs> Crazy cats. Um, so in that case, uh, that goes into setup level. And then it does the card exit. So actually, Um, 
um, that's what we need down here. Basically, if there's four symbols, we want it to do this. Uh, and then otherwise, else, um, we want it to do... Oh, Arjika, why have you come back? If you were watching in the background, you might have seen her sneaking around. I believe it's called success card. Yeah, okay. So I think... Oh, but that's what we need. We need an animation for our success card disappearing. So we can't we can't test it just yet. I love coffee. So if I go to my animations folder. Yeah, so see we've got success card enter but not success card exit. Sorry, I got a text and I was um, checking it because it's my uh, fortunate ability to do that. All right. So, what's the thing it does at the end? Start gameplay. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to create. Uh, we're going to create new clip. It's going to be called success card exit. And we're going to open this bad boy up. And okay, so. Um, it's going to start at zero. And then. 20 frames it's going to be minus 1920 and then at 30 frames it's going to be minus 3840 uh, and we're also going to add an event here start gameplay that'll be it nice that's the one let me know if you're uh, if you're still there. By the way, Kira Reyes or Barabutus. Maybe you're doing something else, like playing Counter Strike, and I'm sort of just this annoying voice floating around in the background, <laughs> talking to myself because I'm pretty good at that, apparently. Okay, now I can go into my animator. Sorry, I'm going to turn the ringer off on my phone again. Uh, okay, anyway.
okay that's what we need we need a trigger called success card exit transition over there and it's gonna be oh I know what I need to do that I forgot to do uh, we're gonna stop that from looping and then this one okay so you make transition perfect very nice so Okay, I think uh, as messy as it looks, I think that should do it. So I'm not going to question it. I'm just going <clears> to <throat> see what happens. So let's just check. We've got our, yep, we've got our symbol set in there. Um, so let's see what happens. Never watch go. Mm -mm -mm. waiting for the old uh, Unity remote to load up. There we go. Uh, oh shit, I wasn't actually paying attention. Bollocks. Okay, we'll play again. <laughs> okay, green and grey, teal and white, purple and red. That orange one wasn't there before. Huzzah! Come on, come on, come on. Bollocks, something didn't work. Ooh. We've got ourselves another loop. Another, um... Uh, infinite loop. Shit. Okay, fine. Fine. Right, time to bring in the task manager. This is my re this has to be my record for most infinite loops in a in a single stream. Um, it's something to do with the uh, something to do with the what should call it? something to do with whatever happens when that um, last card uh, that that success card gets pulled in so yeah in a second we can have a look
you can't see because they're off camera, but um, I've got two cats giving me the uh, hairy eyeball at the moment. I think they're trying to imply that uh, they want to be fed. I'll do it later. Oshka. No, 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 stop. Looks like it's almost loaded up. Okay, so let's let's look at the um, the gameplay loop as it happens and see why see why um, yeah, so we do correct touch if we get the correct touch um, it, it triggers it updates the score we saw it do that successfully and then it does level transition so it updated the success card we saw the that and it enters the success card so that much is correct and then what happens at the end of success card enter uh, load next level so now if we go into card function manager load next level um, we increase the current number of symbols and then we do setup level so that would have increased the current number of symbols to uh, da, 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 to four. No, it would have increased it to five. Sorry. Um, let me just check that. Yeah, increase the current number of symbols, and then go back into here and do setup level. Uh, and so it would go into this else if. Uh, between three, greater than three and less than twelve. It shows the timer. Um, generate symbol prefab. Current number of symbols minus three. So that should work because five minus three is two. And if we go to our asset library, number two is five. Yes, yeah, so that works. So that one isn't the problem. And then new symbol number is, uh, so we do a new symbol number thing where we do a random range between that and that we reset new symbol reference in list that just goes to minus one uh, 
run symbol update. That's in here, isn't it? Okay, the first test I'm going to do is for now we're going to hide all of that. So it's going to we're going to see if it updates the symbols. Debug log potato. We're just going to see if if it gets as far as saying potato. Because if it, if it if it does that, then um, then we know that um, the symbol update in the prefab itself is fine, and it's something to do with the card system and the animations that's the problem. And if it still breaks, we know it's something to do with the prefab. So let's have a go. Also, I'm looking forward to it saying potato in the um, uh, in the console. That would be fun for everyone. And obviously, I'm not I'm not going to leave it as a thing that says potato. It's just this one very very quick test. I'm not a monster. Do you know what's funny? When there's a cat just off screen, just here just like staring at you like a, you know, a thing. Come on. There you go. It's <laughs> just permanently off screen. All right, play game. Let's do it. Oshka, no, 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 no. Come on. No, no, no. Okay, blue, green, and black. Oh, I think that one wasn't there before. Great job, okay. All right. So, it's not the card system, it's something to do with our symbol update script. So, <laughs> Barabutus, if you're still there or listening or whatever, even if you can't type, it looks like we are going straight back into the same mess as before. Uh, and for, for the record, this is what I found when I did it in the past, uh, is that... Um, it's very easy to get to a situation where there, there's like with the way that these symbols update it's like an iterative process of having it crash then finding out why it crashed and then you know like the the while loops and all the rest of it So while we're here, I'm going to change this from saying potato to um, trigger uh, success card exit here. Okay, there we go. Oh. Um, so, the next thing to test
that we're not going to run the symbol update um, on this current number of symbols 5 and we're going to see if that stops it from crashing because then we'll know whatever's happening is happening in symbol update and, uh, in the meantime we'll just wait for it to load up oh. Are we in? No, we're not in yet. Sorry, it's long, long delay. Still not in. We're in, we're just waiting for some stuff to load up. We're in, and it's not. Okay, so, yeah, okay, so now it shouldn't run the symbol update thing. There we go. Right, play game. Uh, and now while we're in game, okay, so orange, orange, black. That white one wasn't there before. Great job. And what do you know? Because it hasn't run the symbol update, we've gone okay. Now here's the interesting thing: we have loaded in our five symbols. So if I very quickly go in here on the card system and I'll just hide it so our five symbols are there so for whatever reason oh I maybe know what it is no no I don't know what it is I'm an idiot okay whatever Go to our game manager, uh, gameplay manager, even. Now the real question, oh. the real question is what, um, okay, 
So now I know that's the problem. I can get rid of that fail safe. And instead. Okay, that's fine. We're going to go into our symbol manager. And it's obviously the symbol update bit that's causing issues. what I'm going to do. I'm going to test each of these ones now because this is the script that's causing problems, symbol update. So let's try and um, I'm going to add my little breaker uh, thing here. Uh, so um, we're only going to update the existing symbols and we're going to see if that crashes first. When it lets me. Sound of me stroking a cat. Okay, there we go. Now I can click play. Yeah, sorry, I'm not. It may it may seem that I'm just sort of sitting here doing nothing a lot of the time, but it's waiting for um waiting for Unity to do stuff. You know. <sighs> anyway, so what we're looking for here is for it to hopefully it's gonna update. Um, it's going to update the old symbols it's going to leave one of them blank in that black and yellow colour and it's not going to crash and if so we'll know that adding the new symbol is what's causing the problem shit I didn't pay attention I think that's right there we go great job and it looks like we've got our crash again so all right, so now I can task manager and quit. And now I'm gonna try it the other way around to see if it's either one of them. And that. We'll get there in the end and it's gonna be very, very satisfying when we do. Isn't that right, Oshka? Yes, you're a little cat, aren't you? Yes, you're a cat. Come on. Nice cat. Oh, that was a bit quicker that time. Maybe it's because I'm not spending hours dicking around with my phone or the cat or something. Um, <clears throat> right. Go back to the inspector, and this time, um, okay, so instead we're going to do it this way around because it seems like this might be the this script thing was running before. I think it's got something to do with um, what well, it has to do with it. It's got to have something to do with 
um, this bit here. Which means it's got to have something to do with load existing symbol. And I wonder what's going on in load existing symbol. Okay, that's my theory now. There's something in this script that's causing the crash. Well, that's not my theory. That's that's literally the only thing that can be possibly happening because I can hear you breathing through the mic monitor. <laughs> there we go. Play a game. red, blue. That green one wasn't there before. Oh, what do you know? Uh, Unity has not crashed. Therefore, uh, I deem There you go, there's our new symbol, see? So, right. Perfect, okay. This is very good news and good progress. So, we know for certain that the thing causing the crash at the moment is this, um, this script where we're uploading the existing symbols so, we're going to get rid of that so we don't forget about it. Um, and we're going to Okay, so what could be causing this? So when it happens, when it crashes, it, we step into it, we skip over this because it's not three, it's five. So we go into this one here. Um, and then we determine that it's not the new symbol check. So instead we go down here where it says load existing symbol. So we know for a fact that the crash is happening somewhere in this load existing symbol thing um, <clears throat> so if we go down to load existing symbol um, so let's step into it one thing at a time symbol selector generate valid symbols uh, validated symbol selector so we do a thing between this and this I see some while loops down here. Thank you. 
Okay, here's what we're going to do before spending ages trying to read through that. Uh, we are going to temporarily, instead of using that function, we're going to say symbol selector is um, one. No, we're going to make it zero, and then hopefully it's just going to load up the same symbol for all of them. Other than that, it just loads the symbol up. Um, okay, let's see if that works. So again, what we're hoping to see here is that the um, we're hoping to see. We're hoping to see the <coughs> symbols all update properly and be duplicated, and then we know that the problem is in that while loop, which I'm almost certain is it where it's going to be, because there isn't anything else that could cause a loop. There, there isn't anywhere else where we could have an infinite loop. So, play game, memorize these symbols, grey, green, and red. <laughs> oh yeah. Shit, of course. Uh, so the new symbol number is one. Okay, so the good news is that Okay, perfect. It looks like, because I can see down there, trigger success card exit here. So it looks like the script's all finished as they should have done, which I think means if I go down here to card system and hide this, boom, see, there we go. Okay, this is perfect. So now we know um, this, generate validated symbol selector. That's where the problem is. And it's going to be somewhere, it's going to be the same as before. It's going to be something to do with this. If level manager, okay, so let, let, yeah, let's run through it one thing at a time. So ignoring all the debug log bollocks. Um, so it proposes a value between zero and the count of the things. Um, that being exclusive, yep, so that makes sense. Um, and then we say if, oh Dave, how she go indeed. I tell you what, man, we've uh, we've been making some progress here. So we're at the point now where the the symbol randomization works properly. Uh, we don't ha ever have any duplicated symbols. Um, we've got the card system working a bit better as well. And now we're at the point where we're um, we're adding the other levels. So five symbols, six symbols, seven symbols, eight symbols, which is simpler than it's not like creating new scenes or anything. It's just creating new prefabs and. It, adding a reference to them in, in somewhere else. So yeah, it's um at the moment there's just one one thing, this this while loop or this bit, this generate validated symbol selector script that I wrote before, this function, is currently causing an infinite loop. But only on five symbols, not on four symbols. So what I'm trying to do now is somewhere between here <laughs> 
and uh, here there is something that when there's five symbols causes a um, an unbreakable loop so yeah so let's go through it step by step so we've generated a random number here which is fine um, then we say if the symbol updated list which is our reference for like yeah so assuming we've got more than no symbols which is true um, so we have this iterator zero um, I wonder uh, at this point if I check the console what does it say here yeah man the, the core gameplay that's my aim for today is to get the core gameplay done because um, there's a few other bits which I still want to work on but um, they're like okay so it's not in there um, there's a few other bits I still want to work on, but yeah, it's um okay. Temporarily. We're going to comment out all of that bollocks, and we're just gonna we're just gonna do this because I want to check something. So yeah, okay. This symbol updated list count thing. Is it showing up? Anyway, whatever. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to load this up so it shouldn't it shouldn't crash now because the while loop has been hidden what it will do is load duplicated symbols um, it'll load the same symbols more than once unless it randomly does the equivalent of rolling a dice with a different number every time six times but you know uh, we've also got cats you know as always always uh, within arm's reach of the screen. All right, play game, there we go. Memorize these symbols. Okay, three symbols. I, I cannot wait to um, add more symbols as well. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> fuck, I think that one. There we go. Okay, nice. So it worked properly because it's not, we've not got the loop, which is great. So if I go to the gameplay manager, um, Why the fuck are there seven? Okay, let's try that again. That's interesting. There shouldn't have been seven. There should have been maximum five, but really I think there should have been four. So let's, we're gonna pay much, much closer attention. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, 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 okay. Okay. So at this point, the symbol updated list size is zero because we haven't updated. You know, they're all new symbols. So we haven't had to update anything. So this goes up and then comes down. See, the size here is three. Oh, shit. I know what it is. It's the same thing as we were having a problem with before. I can already, I can smell it from a mile off. Right, okay. So, yeah, so these have come down. And then, uh, because they're duplicated, because they would be, um, the new one is number two. So, okay. And then there, see? Instead of adding instead of adding this element three it did it multiple times and th th the crash is going to be something to do with that dude cyberic what is up welcome back i remember you from the previous stream i hope you are having a nice saturday and uh you know all that stuff we're making good progress today it's uh it's it's still baby steps and i feel like i've been demonstrating the same gameplay the same like two seconds of gameplay for a month now but guys it's it's like we're literally we're on the tip of the uh cliff edge and like the avalanche is about to happen you know it's all gonna like before you know it within the next two weeks it's gonna be like uh animations and like sound effects and like whatever the fuck else and firebase um database high score tracking exactly this is like this this is like the uh you know <clears throat> lots of back-end stuff before doing the kind of the fun interesting front-end stuff right so oh wait yeah that's what I was gonna do I was I need to figure out because so much of this while loop thing is based on that symbol updated list thing. So somewhere stuff is getting added to symbol updated list. And I'm pretty sure it was um, here. That's what it is. That's what it is. I'm going to leave that commented out down there. Okay, so what's happening is when I wrote this before, I always told it to just add the new symbol to the... Uh, sorry, when it did the existing symbol, to add it to the thing. Because previously, it was always empty. And so for the three new symbols, it would add uh, element uh, item 0, 1, and 2. It would add the three symbols. The problem is... Okay. Okay, so I need to like iterate through that list. Okay, here's here's what we're gonna do. Um While I'm at it, I'm gonna stop that. <laughs> uh, symbol updated iterator. Okay. And we don't need to give it a value because over here, what we're going to do is. going to set it to zero when we do this perfect and then okay so um, Oh, 
if single Ah, that's not what I want. I know what. Okay, so we're saying if there's nothing in that thing, then we'll do it as we did before where we add them as new. However, I think we can get away with using an else here instead of um, whatever else. So, otherwise, um, Right, I think that's going to do it. So, what I'm hoping is going to happen here, just to recap. So, when we're setting up a level, we do this run symbol update thing. So, we reset this iterator to zero, and then um, we do the symbol update twice. Once updating existing symbols, then adding new ones. So, when we're doing the existing symbols, it was crashing before because it was doing... Um, oh, not there. It was crashing before because um, it was running this line here. So it was always adding more things to the list, which wasn't a problem before because I only ever had one level. So I was always gonna, I was only needing to add things to the list. Whereas now, what I need to do is, if there's nothing in the list, I add them. Otherwise, um, I'm replacing them. So in this case, uh, I'm now going to want to replace them. So what it does it looks at the list and it looks at the iterator so it looks at list item zero um, and then it swaps it with the symbol select thing and so on and so on and then it increases it etc yeah okay okay cool I think this is gonna work I uh, I don't know what ob object pooling is um, <laughs> but the, I don't know. Is is this is this what this is? I've got that uh, four coffee feeling. Right. Um, and in fact. Okay, yeah, I'm going to leave that other that other bit still commented out. So we're not going to have the crash regardless. But what I'm going to hope to see is here during gameplay. Um, 
okay so now we've seen this um symbol updated oh so something's happened here arguing out of range okay you know what i'm going to take a very quick 30 second um uh, uh yeah i'm going to take a very quick 30 second uh, pee break because four coffees um but then when i get back in two seconds we're going to figure out what's going on with that uh that error i'm not going to piss my pants uh actually no if i don't go i might so uh yeah i'll be back in a sec I'm back. I'm back. I'm talking slower because I'm not holding in P. It's good. All right. Uh, now, somehow this thing was. Symbol manager 189. Oh, funny enough, that's right here. try a thing if um, symbol oh. it's not already equal to the uh, Now let's see you uh, get out of range. I've made it physically impossible for that iterator thing to go out of the range. I might have broken something else in the process though, so we'll see. <laughs> odds, odds are uh, I'm gonna crash Unity again, and um, you know we're all gonna sit here for five minutes while I reboot it on my ancient machine. So let's see. 
I can hear cats walking around somewhere. Play game. Thing comes up, goes down. Uh, let's do the gameplay stuff. Okay, so the new one is number four. symbol updated iterator thing never changed hmm why did the symbol updated iterator never change or maybe it did and then it went back to zero I'm going to try that again and actually pay attention to uh, my unity crashes because I, I have an addiction to um, to creating infinite loops with bad use of while uh, while loops or logic that just doesn't have a way of <laughs> solving itself. Um, like I'm getting pretty good at doing it in a way that it doesn't crash, but then when it crashes, oh, I crash it like a motherfucker. Right. Uh, OK. Yeah, it's it's the loops for sure. Like, um, fortunately, so far we've already fixed two infinite loops on the stream today, or have we? We fixed one, and I think this might be number two that I'm fixing now. Okay, so we've got a view of stuff there, and now. Okay, so already something's not working right there. So I'm just gonna. So, it's not. Know what we're gonna make this less than three and I think that's gonna fix it okay because I think what was happening there was that I said here if it's equal to zero and it's not equal to zero because there was technically some the number that there had element zero there already just by existing so let's see if that's fixed it now because it should go from having one item that's like nothing to three all right just just waiting for the old uh, the old homeboy to load up we can all watch it together there we go right play game thing comes up uh, black and two white there we go we got our three there oh something oh yeah that's right we, we were expecting the shapes to not be right because we've commented out that other script so that's not a scary thing um, new symbol number is three Oof, that was close Okay, so the important thing is we did what we were hoping to do. So now. Oh, it's not on. Let's, let's fucking try it. Let's just go wild and give it a go. Because basically what was happening is we had that list was double the length that it should have been. Whereas now, fingers crossed. I think it should be what we should see is that it should have four symbols in it yeah it should it should have four symbols in it
I think Barabutus, who's been here in the past, is still there, by the way. I think he's just doing his own his own thing. Um There's the stuff. The new one is number four. Oof, close one. And it looks like uh, if I just pause this and hide card system. That looks to me like we've got um five unique although like concerningly similar um, shapes but they're just like that because we haven't added the rest of our colors so nice I think so let's try it again uh, and hopefully it's gonna generate symbols that look a bit different oh no but actually what sorry what we should be seeing now you or me come on get rid of that we're not going to play the game. We are going to uncomment our thing that makes the other card come down. So, uh, is it here? No. Card manager. Maybe it's in set at level. Yeah, that's what I want. All right, so fingers crossed, we're gonna see it like a like a dramatic reveal, you know, a curtain curtain drop moment where the card comes down, the symbols have updated, there's no duplicates, etc. Uh, etc. Et at which point I'll like, you know, I don't know, pick up a cat and stroke it. Come on. All right. Fingers crossed. Toes crossed. Arms, legs, everything else. Play game. Here we go. So things comes up. White, blue, yellow. Uh, oh, shit. Um... Number three is the new one, okay. Mm. Fuck, shit, yeah. Those are five unique shapes that we just saw there. Let's just hit play again and ignore that weird thing that happened with the colors then. Oh, something weird happened there. Okay, some something weird is going on with the animations, uh, which actually, now that I think about it, will probably be something to do with this mess here. Or was that because I threw the phone down and it did something? There was something going on there. Let's see if we can reproduce it. Because whatever that is, I guess I need to fix that next before I add the rest of the symbols. Okay, orange, blue, grey. Orange, blue, grey. Green wasn't there before. 
Orange wasn't there before. Hmm. Something didn't go right there, because if you look over here, this symbol updated list. Okay, so whatever that script I just did was, something's broken with it. So let's... Balls. Just just when I thought that it was... um. Oh, vegan, 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 vegan. You're back. Uh, shit, that's what I was going to do, sorry. Um, okay, so right now, it's correct. So we've got three things here, which relate to one, two, and three. So that's all fine. And then this symbol number three is the new one, yep. Okay, so if I hit that, great job. Okay, fine. So what we're doing now is over here on the right-hand side where it says symbol updated list here, um, I'm expecting it to fuck up because what we, what, we what we want to happen is for element three to appear. Um, and yeah. Oh wait, it already did it. So what's interesting is it's still... We've got five unique symbols. Oh, okay. I think I know what's going on. Washka, stop it. My cats are hissing at each other. Come on. Hey, come. Come on, hissy cat. Okay, there we go. Right. No, 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 no. That wasn't an invitation. No, stop it. Come on. It's over here. This is, I swear, half of my stream every Saturday is just me trying to get the cats to, like, stay out of my way. Instead of shutting the door to the room I'm in, which would be a much easier solution. There we go. Okay. Uh, the cat, they're indoor cats, so they don't go outside at all. Um... But there's is, there's quite a bit of space here, so they're 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 just needy and they want they want my attention because that's like what they're into. Come on, hey, no 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 no, go back. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, like um, you know, indoor cats, so they just hang out indoors. Anyway, I know what it is. Yeah, that's what I need. I need. I know what it is.
think that's going to do it. So now, okay, cool. Yep. Okay, let's see if this works. I've got a, I've got a feeling. No, that should be right actually. We Yeah, okay. We'll see. Let's see. But it's good. We're making progress. I can feel the progress. I can smell the progress. All right, thing comes up. We got a yellow one, an orange one, and a red one. Mm -hmm. uh, oh fuck! Uh, number three. There we go. Uh, we got ourselves a guess what guys uh, we got ourselves another another infinite loop based on that edit I just did so guess what time it is it's time for me to open the task manager and quit and come back and yes she is very small um, both of them are, are small but they're, they're only about um, uh, uh, like uh, three or four kilos um, But uh, no, she's a. She, this one is. Um, she's going to be five. In. Um... <laughs> yeah, man. Like. Uh... No, no, no. Like. Um, in in the UK, we uh, we, like in America, they use exclusively imperial measurement in central and like what well, generally in like mainland Europe it, I think I think everyone would agree that the metric system is is what everyone uses in the UK we just sort of like use both and sometimes we use one and sometimes we use the other I actually find the imperial system very difficult to understand so I prefer I almost always use European measurement for everything apart from I would describe my height as six foot instead of um 182 centimeters for example uh, but although to be honest you know whatever um, yeah I actually I couldn't tell you what she weighs in like stone or pounds or ounces or whatever it is I couldn't tell you what I weigh in in those measurements either I find that one really confusing um, yeah Oh. I'm just waiting for Unity to load up, by the way. I'm not just sort of sitting here for no reason. Let's quickly check my phone. While that sounds very fun, um, I'd want to be able to use the laptop remotely as well. So it would need something, you know. Um, God, I can't wait to get that laptop. Sort of juice up the older computer system. And I can like research a nice graphics card to get. 
and like I'm I'm probably I'd probably get like a, an external um, like a like a ridiculous 10 terabyte external hard drive that's permanently connected as well because that I don't know if you've seen it the Razer Chroma eGPU thing it has um all the USB ports on the back and shit like that um so you can basically connect all your peripherals to that and treat that as your desktop and then your laptop you just like kind of whack there's one cable thunderbolt thing you plug into your laptop and it's like a docking station sort of a vibe um so i could literally rock up with my laptop from wherever i've been with it sit down plug the thing in and all of a sudden it's like bam screen bam microphone bam midi keyboard graphics tablet whatever the f like all the random shit that i've accumulated over the past six or seven years um anyway right enough of that rambling so this just triggered an infinite loop i know why because i forgot to put the, one of these So, <laughs> uh, I think I think everyone wishes they invented two zero four eight. But to be honest with you, that's why I'm like, l let's be real. Like, mobile games isn't like the the. It's not my end game, you know. Like, I'm 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 not specifically trying to be a mobile developer. Um, I'm I'm specifically just doing this because it's like quite a, quite an approachable format and I can get friends and family to play it and also um, yeah just generally um, it's it's an easy place for me to start um, but obviously longer term I want to do something that's a bit more creative and ambitious and like you know uh, you get what I mean with like actual compelling gameplay and stuff like that um, but yeah like it only takes a good idea and like I think the most important thing with these kind of simple mechanisms is like really nice satisfying execution where like it just it's like I think most of these games like 2048 if that game didn't have such a nice interface like if the user experience on that app wasn't so clean no one would fucking play it you know like 90% like it's got like a simple fun mechanic and it's re replayable and then after that, most of it is that it looks and feels nice to use. And like, I think that's the really good thing about doing the mobile stuff is you have to like, once you've got the core gameplay done, there's a huge amount of polish and making it not a, like a fucking complete turd. Um, which is quite, you know, it's like easier said than done as well. Like when I was doing my previous game, I'm not... I'm happy with where it ended up, but I still feel like it could have been cleaner and it could have been like, you know, there are certain as aspects of the um, gameplay that like aren't as toit as I would have liked them to be. Anyway, I'm rambling again and instead uh, I want to be figuring out what the problem with this is. So. So I'm just thinking at the end of the awesome bullseye when I hit the right one and it progresses the level the symbol updated list count would be three which means that the symbol updated list count yeah which means that we trigger this else thing and so then it goes into this so then it says if the iterator which is currently zero does not equal the count minus one which would be two because we've got element zero one and two so that would be true so then it adds that and then
I think all I need to do Okay. Oh, dude, Barabutus, you're back. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly, Dave. Like, um, I, I think that's like the the biggest thing. And I think, um, to be honest with you, based on like, obviously, there's so much really impressive stuff out there, especially on Twitter. People, the stuff that you see on Twitter is amazing and people are obviously like really fucking good um, but what you see on a lot of the forums um, with all the hobbyists myself included is a lot of people making stuff that just it uh, it misses like a level of like smoothness and polish and stuff and that's like the that's the, in my opinion that's like the most important bit of all um, anyway right so I think this should I think this should fix that. I think the reason it was breaking is that once it got to this point, yeah, that's why it was breaking because I didn't increase the iterator thing, so it was stuck with the iterator permanently being here. Okay, right, guys, I got a good feeling. I think we're on it. Um, I don't know how long you've been gone, Barabatus, but um, um. Yeah, we, uh, I don't know, we've been, we've been doing all sorts. I think we're finally at the point where we might have fixed loading the next level each time. So if this works, um, yeah, if this works, I should be able to um, start adding six symbols. And yeah, man, like about the thousands of lines thing, like you should see, I don't know if anyone had a chance to play my, um, my other mobile game, Tessellate. And if you haven't played it yet, um, like just search on any app store, um, a thing. The max symbols is going to be 12 because beyond that, I don't think the human brain is capable of tracking it. Once it hits the max symbols, it's just going to swap them out instead. All right. Anyway. Okay. So we got, uh, blue, red, yellow. That green one wasn't there. Oh no. It's happened again. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Task manager. I'm going to fix it. The the I'm going to like if there's one thing I've done consistently today, it's crash it causing crashes because of infinite loops. Finding what, you know, slowly but surely finding what was causing the loop and then getting rid of it. So we're uh, we're getting there one one thing at a time. All right.
what's everyone else up to anyway? Uh, I don't know who's still um, around. Like if uh, vegan, 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 yeah, vegan, 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 vegan. Um, I don't know if you're working on a project whilst kind of hanging out. Uh, Barra Butters, I know you were doing some stuff. And actually, Dave, I remember you were saying that um, you had something going on. I can't remember what, though, because my brain's kind of scrambled. <laughs> yeah, well, I think last I, I checked, I, I think it was last week, Dave, you were... Um, uh, no, Barabotis, it's only going to add one symbol each time because the entire game, like the name of the game is spot the odd one in. So the aim of the game is to spot the uh, spot the one that wasn't there before. Dave, I think, I, I think, uh, like I, I think you've got to, for yourself, like pick a like ridiculously simple um project and like just pub like do it till it's published and like challenge challenge yourself to do it in like a couple of weeks or whatever it's gonna feel so good when you like when you when you finally publish um when you finally publish it Slow computer. All right. Oh yeah, <clears throat> that's fair. <clears throat> and yeah, I I agree. It's um somehow after after starting this in like the second week of Jan, somehow now in March after deleting the project by accident, I'm still here doing the same fucking shit. <laughs> like. Like some somehow, I'm still motivated. Somehow, I think streaming helps. Like keeping a schedule, you know. Because even though I'm only doing it once a week, every Saturday for two months now, I've sat down for like nine hours and like really, you know, gotten into like the headspace and like whatever else. And it's a bit challenging because then I spend most of the week doing other stuff. But um, you know, yeah. All right, so why why did this crash? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna um,
you know what? I'm not 100% sure we need this line. I need to like think about what what is this script actually doing load existing symbol generates a symbol selector Yes, I do need that line, sorry, because Okay, there's something, I think there's something dodgy going on here, where I'm misinterpreting what? Oh. Fuck, you know what? I think I've got it. <laughs> Holy shit, if this if this is if this is it. Comment those out. Bring that one back. And then over here, uh, wherever it was. Instead of saying symbol updated iterator is zero, what we're actually going to do is say um, symbol updated list. Ah, not capacity. Clear. Because symbol updated list is just a reference for that level that gets loaded it's just a reference of which symbols we've already loaded in so that's all it needs to do it just needs to be cleared and then the whole point of that script in here is that when when the um when we load an existing symbol we generate a validated symbol selector by checking to see if the symbol has been that so actually i need to go down here and just check this makes sense as well Okay, I'm not, whatever. If it crashes, it's something to do with this. Not playing nicely with the other bit. Okay, so. All right, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go, let's give it a go. Ooh. Come on, Unity. We go. All right, play game. Fingers up. Memorize these symbols: green, yellow, blue. 
shit. Uh, new symbol is number one. There we go. Guys, I think it worked. Because over here, we've got a reference to our four previously updated symbols. Oh, thanks, Dave. Um, thank you for hanging out. And I hope your text adventure um, or whatever project you, you, you end up working on um, has some good progress. And I, I get, I'll see you, um, you know, I'll see you next Saturday. But yeah, guys, I am happy because... There we've got our new symbol, which I believe is number two. So if I, boom, there we go, and there we go, and it crashes. So, oh, I think I've, I think I fixed it. I, I just spent the past like twenty minutes writing the. Sorry, I don't like in my ears. If I'm back here, the audio sounds really like uh, empty, and then if I come in here, it sounds really. Um, Beatty. But um, I just spent the past 20 minutes doing some like random shit <laughs> because I mis misinterpreted what the uh, what what the scripts were doing. So there you go. Right, just check a few other bits and pieces. It's there. That I've got a cat with all. Yeah, off you go. Thank you. Play a game. Let's try it again just to check. And if this works, I'm doing it. I'm making. I'm making the other symbol prefabs. Um. Uh, that one. No. Ah, uh, I wasn't paying attention. Nice. Did it. Okay, fuck it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Um, not before I've done a GitHub. So, what did I just do? <laughs> um, well, I can look at this actually. one of my most productive um, streams so far in terms of like having uh, stuff and then getting it to work oh by the way um, Barabutus or anyone else that's still hanging out vegan 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 if you're there too um, let me know when you're watching and um, uh, you're free to for me to test something because I want to test the toggling um, visible elements on the screen within uh, Streamlabs um, because I want to I, I want to figure out how to get the chat visible so that when I when I record in my recording so not in the actual stream just in the recording get the chat visible on the screen so that when I put it on YouTube people can see you know so I don't look like a lunatic who's talking to themselves. <laughs> um, I 
Anyway, okay. Uh, so yeah, if if whoever's watching, whenever you're at a point that you can participate in the chat, give me a shout, and we'll um, we'll test out the the chat box thing because I was reading some stuff on the internet and it should work. So it's just some some random shit that's stopping it. Anyway. Hmm. Okay. So, you know what I'm going to do now? Um, given that we just did a commit and things, um, things were in a good place, I'm going to very quickly give myself a two-minute break, feed my cats, and um, make myself a decaf coffee because I'm, you know, probably worth winding down a bit. Um, and then I'm going to come back. We're going to add the extra prefabs. And it's going to be pretty cool because the game is going to pretty much start to take shape. So up to 12 shapes, we're going to pretty much have our gameplay. At which point, um, I feel like I will, um, if there's time, maybe I'll add in the swapping shape thing. Otherwise, next stream will be adding all the other symbol assets making and adding the symbol assets that's going to be fun so i'm not going to be in unity for a lot of it i'm going to be in um photoshop style software and then um yeah anyway i'm rambling um cool i'm going to be back in a couple of minutes at which point we're going to add our next levels and the gameplay is finally going to start coming together so i will see you in a few minutes
Yo guys, what is up? All right, um, <clears throat> I can't remember how long I've been gone, but um, I'm back now. The cats have been fed. I've had a bit of something to eat so I don't collapse. Um, got myself a trusty decaf coffee. And if you were here before I took a break, you will have seen that we are now at a position where our next levels are loading properly. So, here goes. What we're going to do now is <clears throat> create the prefabs for our other levels. Um, so, <clears throat> sorry, um, I just I was just eating peanuts, and um, I don't know they make it hard to talk for some reason. <clears throat> Either that, or maybe I've got coronavirus. Um, right. Uh, so scenes, uh, gameplay, prefab, symbol sets. All right, so there's five symbols straight off the bat. We're gonna call it six symbols. All right, here's something I want to <clears throat> test. All right, so we got <clears throat> we got this uh we got this blue blue box um, basically I want a grid that the symbols always fit inside of Okay, <clears throat> let's call that our, um, <coughs> let's call that our playable area. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna make it light gray, just for reference while we're doing other shit. Okay. Great. 
<clears throat> okay, great. Um. Oh. YouTube has decided to give me a Mr. Beast advert for honey. Okay. There we go. We're back. Um. Just trying to think of the best way to arrange seven symbols. Um. And I think it's like that. Three in the middle, two on the side, because then that gives us our three. Okay, so what we're going to do... Um, yeah, what we're going to do, or is it, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Let's try it like that. Obviously these prefabs we can mess around with them as much as we want until they look and feel right. It might be eventually that it's better having all the symbols all the same size like permanently um, instead of starting with them a bit bigger and then having them scale down to fit on the screen. So I guess we're gonna see. Uh, but what I will tell you is that uh, so, okay, so now that those are that size, symbol one is going to be minus 0 0.6. Ah, no, not there. Sorry. 1.2. Symbol two is going to be minus 1.2. Ah. Okay, yeah, fuck it. We're, do we're doing it this way. Uh, and it's going to be there as well. Symbol 3 is going to be 0 and then 2.4. Symbol 4 is going to be 0, 0. No, it's not. Hold on. Okay. 
okay yeah that's what we're gonna do it's gonna it's gonna gradually shrink as we get further and further through watching in the chat give me a shout and let me know if it looks funny I think it looks okay though I think that honeycomb style looks pretty good and obviously when they're all random symbols the grid size is gonna be kind of whatever um, so we're gonna call oh, we're gonna call this a playable area going to be not visible oh nice thank you man I'm glad you're still here okay for eight symbols um, right, cool okay I think this is gonna be pretty cool Boom, now we got eight. All right, and this is where it gets. Um, Let's 
get our playable area back. I don't know why I got rid of it. Um, so. No, we're not going to do it this way, actually, I've changed my mind. Here's what we're going to do. Yeah, I think so too. But be bearing in mind, not all the symbols are going to be... Um... No, you know what? I think you're right. I think you're right. So I think there's a couple of the prefabs in the other bits that are... Yeah, you know what? Like four shapes, you can make that into a honeycomb. Dude, I think you're right. I think you're completely right. 
But that's cool. That's the that's the that's what we're going for here, isn't it? That's like um. Okay, now question for anyone, anyone watching that's in the chat. Um, which should I do like this, or would it look better if it were um the other way around? So essentially, um, oh, let me see, like that. Uh, or would it look better if I just oh yeah I think everything needs to be uh, everything just needs to be a little bit lower down yeah exactly I think so too like if everything were if everything were there on a phone screen I think that works yeah I like that okay but instead of doing it here I'm gonna do it for the individual symbols so um, that becomes 1.5 that becomes minus 0 0.9 that one becomes minus 3.3 .3. Seven. Three. Minus two one. You wouldn't believe how much stuff like this I had to do. Um. <clears throat> um. Yeah. You you wouldn't believe uh, how much of this uh, sort of stuff I had to do to um. My last game. That's what I'm saying. Um, I hear you on the uh, rotations for the for the time being I'm gonna not do that because from my experience playing the game it's like it's difficult enough already um, especially when like you if you imagine like I know they all look like hexagons right now but eventually there's gonna be like so it could be a triangle shape it could be a square it could be a diamond it could be a star it could be a donut or something you know like um there's uh, lots and lots of shapes that it could be and so the variety of that um, is already gonna yeah but who knows maybe I'll add that later on as like a, a extra layer of difficulty who knows anyway That would be something that I could add to my um, symbol update script. So each symbol it updates its assets and then it just picks a random, it spins itself on the x-axis randomly, <laughs> um, which would be cool. Uh, maybe we'll try it and see if it helps or makes it um, too difficult. Something, something to note down for like once we got the core gameplay. <clears throat> okay, so nine symbols is there. We can apply all. Seven symbols looks like that. Six symbols looks like that. Five symbols looks like that. Four symbols looks like that. Two symbols looks like that. You know what? I've been consistent as hell with this. <clears throat> Maybe I'll leave the... Yeah, let's, we'll see. Um...
Okay, so now we're doing 10 symbols. Oof, this is pretty crazy. Um, yeah, so, so for the four symbols being diamond shape, I'm going to, I think you're probably right. Same goes for six symbols, but for the time being, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then like once I've got it running, if it feels like it's a bit jarring, then yeah, I agree. I think you're probably right there anyway. Um, okay, ten symbols. Ten, ten symbols. Oh, I know what I do. I just add um, another one at the bottom. Because I'm lazy, I'm not going to follow my same process of going like down, down, down. Uh, I'm just going to add this one as um, what is it? Uh, da, da, da. X zero. And then this would be. I am going to do it this way, aren't I? Okay. Was that I got distracted. Um, I want this to be minus three. What's number four? should be um, minus four, I think. Yeah, that looks about right. You know what? 
I think 10, 11, and 12 is the point where we make all the symbols a little bit smaller. And then make that honeycomb ever so slightly tighter. Because <clears throat> that's going to... Yeah, that's what I'm I'm just trying to figure out as well. I think this size it should be okay though because it's still at the same it's the same sort of a size as a UI button in the corner. Um, <clears throat> but I, I agree, I think this is like the limit of how small they can be. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with these ones and we're gonna move them inwards a bit. Oh, not too much. That's the trick, isn't it? How do you... First thing that needs to happen is this needs to be zero because it's fucking me off that it's um oh no hold on mm. Mm. 
Oh shit, yeah, of course, that's... That's what I want. Okay, that actually looks pretty even to me. We'll see how that we'll see how that goes. No, <laughs> Bubbles did it again. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> uh, 0 0.4. 0 0.4, 0 0.4, which then goes to up half a step so it goes to this height to 1.4 oh that's all I'm doing I'm, I'm adding or subtracting one 
to move it halfway up. It's just it's just um, steps of one. Okay, fine. In that case, um, there. See, I know what I'm doing now. That's much quicker. So that goes uh, to mm. yeah, that's what I want. It's zero point four. I must have typed it wrong before. Uh, and this goes to one point six, and then. That's our eleventh symbol. And then you know what? Fuck it. For 12, we are literally just going to. Um, okay, it's no overrides. See how that goes. Twelve and then drop down there. Okay, that that is messy, and I'm going to clean it up further on. But the most important thing, like the thing to remember, is these prefabs or whatever. I can go in and I can move them around as much as I want, because um, it's literally just twelve sets of objects. I can orient them however I like. The most important thing at the moment is whether or not the. Um, uh, yeah, it's whether or not they load up properly. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to save that. Uh, we are going to go to our menu. We're going to select this. And on our asset library, 
we're going to um, <clears throat> right. I believe that this is going to work now, I think. So, <laughs> big moment. Uh, the game might now be playable, like up to level 12 and then stop. So, we're just going to... We're just going to click play and we're going to see what happens. And I've probably forgotten something other than adding those assets to the library. Oh, I'm a bit scared. Just waiting for the old doodah to update. There we go. Alright. Play game. The red one wasn't there before. I'm going to select my gameplay manager as well. Oh! Uh, five wasn't there before. Okay, I'm cheating a bit. Um, one wasn't there before. Oof. Ah. Okay, this bodes well. This bodes very, very well. Alright, no cheating this time. That one? Yes. That one? Yes. Yes. I'm doing it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, that. Oh. Hey. It looks like, it looks like it's working. It's especially hard because they're all the same shape, so it's only the colour. It'll actually be a bit easier once we've got the other symbols in there. I like it. I'm pleased with it so far. Oh, it's doing that thing again, though. Okay, there's obviously something to do with the... Um the animation loop. Yeah, there's obviously something not quite right with that. If I just look at that quickly. I don't know. But okay, so this time I'm going to test it and see what happens. Um, if I actively just press the number on the screen. So when I get to the very last level, and it should say um, thingy reference not recognized or something like that. Or actually, I, I think it will just do nothing. So let's see. There we go. Okay. Number three. Number four. 
that. Oh. Oops, I think I tapped something twice by accident. That's weird. Okay, there's obviously something weird going on with the... Um, I think I know what it is. That's what we need. We gotta make sure that the symbols can only be tapped um, once for starters.
And the other thing I need to do
Maybe this will fix it now. Okay, I think that should fix that weird glitch that was happening a second ago that was messing with the animations. It was to do with ray casting going through the UI elements and registering extra touches on the shapes. It was weird. Let's just check. We're getting close now. Ah, oh. 
I've still not been able to get to um, 12, but that's also partially because they're all very, very, very similar. <laughs> so it's um, additionally hard. I just want to get it to 12 to see what happens. Hello, Ka Kanawana Gasaki Yoko. <laughs> uh, shit, I wasn't looking. Okay. Oh shit, I wasn't looking again. Anyway, Kana Kanawana Gasaki Yoko, what is up? Just testing my gameplay to try and get it. Uh, I'm trying to get it to when there's 12 symbols on the screen and it breaks. Also, this isn't um, this isn't uh, final stuff. This is just. Um, oof. Green background, grey foreground. Ah, that's the wrong one, isn't it? Shit. Ah, uh, see, this is why. Um. Oh, this this is why. I need to add more shapes and more symbols, which I'm going to be doing on the next stream because at the moment we are literally just using. Uh, where is it? At the moment we have these colours and then one shape for everything. When really what we want is uh, more colors, more symbols, more everything. But that's something for the next stream. Because I don't think it's going to be possible for me to... Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to be... <laughs> I don't think it's going to be possible for me to uh, get to level 12 without um without like the different symbols it's too confusing but the good news is i've made a game that's legitimately quite tough shit i've already forgotten what the symbols were <laughs> fuck uh that one game over fuck okay i'm gonna try and do it without without looking okay something that looks like a chicken green and white uh, blue and green okay so that one wasn't there before that one wasn't there before ah shit that one yes there we go uh, maybe that yes there we go okay we're getting there mm -hmm. this one yes there we go Purple wasn't there before. Yep, yeah, nice. Um, this minty one. Yes, okay, we're getting close. I think this one wasn't there before. Okay, maybe this is it. Maybe. Okay. Now... Here's the real question. How many symbols did I get to then? Current number of symbols, 12. Apparently. 
which is yeah because there was 11 symbols in that last one i think like four down each side no three down each side and then four down the middle so that would have been 10. Fuck, i can't remember anyway whatever Hey, come on, don't do this. Ah, oh, okay. You know what? Um, I am I am pleased with that progress. Um, I'm gonna do one final demo for my own benefit, if nothing else, of this gameplay. So, while that's loading up, at the start of the stream, uh, we set out to fix the level trend, like we fix the play again button on the main menu. We, ne we actually never did that because it was only minor. Um, fix is the wrong word, smoothen up the animation. But we needed to fix the randomization script and we wanted to do our transitions between the levels, which meant we could make our actual next levels. And what we have now is now we have our next levels. Um, uh, that one. Ah, uh, there you go. Game over. So yeah, I think that's a pretty good I'll try it one more time. Close enough. Anyway, there you go. That's the game so far. Which is great. Which means, next stream, shit's about to get real. Because the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make some fucking symbols. Uh, and I'm very, very excited about that. Because I feel like I've been delaying making the rest of the symbols for a long, long time. Um, and yeah, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. So making symbols, which means that the game's look and feel is going to start to come to life a little bit. Um, and the actual gameplay is going to get a bit more interesting. Um, and then as well as that, we're going to get the next bit of the script working, which is the swap symbols thing. Um, so once we get to the maximum number of symbols, we then start, um, you know, uh, we then start repla replacing them instead of adding them, um, <clears throat> which is a slightly different bit of complexity. Uh, but it's logic that I've done before, so hopefully it isn't going to be too big of a deal. Anyway, uh, I'm going to stop now because it's almost 9pm and it, uh, it's been just over 7 hours of streaming, so it feels like a good time to stop. Um, so, Barabutus, I don't know if you're still hanging on, but... Um, if you are, thank you for hanging out again. It's been very cool. And um, anyone else that's been uh, watching throughout the stream, as always, really, really fun. And um, yeah, it's been nice to hang out and stuff. So I will be here next Saturday doing the same shit, listening to the lo-fi music and with the, uh, wait, hold on. Yeah, with the, with the cats. There you go, see? Yeah, 
problematic children. Okay, so uh, I am now going to disappear. Um, and I will see you on the next, ooh, on the next stream. Bye.